Hello there, we're glad you're still with us here on Morning at NTV. The hashtag on Twitter is Morning at NTV. Please do a follow and of course uh, you can contribute to some of the uh, conversations that are carried on there. We're also big on Facebook. We're streaming live also on YouTube. So wherever you are in your car as you're heading to work, if you are in office and not in the work club, you can also be able to catch Morning at NTV. And of course, for those that are still under the covers, you can of course watch on your phone. Many thanks for joining us yet again. For those that are simply, well, welcome on board. I'm Chris Higeni. We are now going into the techno discussion where we are looking at rebuilding Uganda's great schools. Now, that one should take time for you to reflect. The rebuilding Uganda's great schools. What is at stake? Are they crumbling? Are they losing focus? Or it's a case of uh, reconstructing and of course maintaining a legacy that has built for some as many as 100 years. Busoga College Miri, it will be celebrating 111 years and of course the euphoria right now is high as you will be seeing on Twitter some of the hashtags are already running and uh, for some of the leaders so to speak, uh, Comrade Otoa, I know there's a lot that is going on. We are joined in the studio this morning by Dr. Daniel Rueza. Many thanks for making time. I would want to thank you focus. for having me. I would want yes. to focus on your work at uh, law school. Yes. But I won't. Let me focus at the old boy of Busoga College Mary. Yes. First tell us a preamble. Busoga College Mary. Busoga College Mary, good morning uh, to those of us who are watching online mm, and yeah. uh, in other spaces. Busoga College Mwiri, 111 years old. Wow. Um, not many institutions <laughs> <laughs> are able to last that long. You're older uh, than Makiriri. We are older than Uganda. <laughs> oh, older than Uganda, yeah, sure. No doubt about Uganda. that. Uh -huh. And just for your information, mm. the current vice chancellor at Makere University is an old boy of uh, Busoga, Busoga College Mwiri. Yes. So okay. Excited we, about that. Let's first uh, clear the bragging rights aspect. <laughs> Who are the obbies, <laughs> the top people? Rohakana Rugunda, uh -huh. Honorable. Um, Vice Chancellor, yes. um, Oriem, Honorable Oriem, uh, uh, the Minister for Foreign, Foreign Affairs, Foreign Foreign Affairs, Affairs yeah. is, is one of us. Uh -huh. uh, we even said that Kadaga is, is, is one of us now because she's an honorary uh, member. member. Uh, MPs in Sada mm. is uh, is an mayor Balimwezo is an OB. Wow. Yeah, among others. Good. So I needed to clear another. that right. Yes. Uh, you know, bragging rights are always important. <laughs> I needed to clear that and Thank put it you. outside. You, so you're telling us about uh, just take us through the history of yes. uh, the Soga College Mwiri yes. and how far we've come and what is uh, in store for those that uh, are either Mwirians yes. by design or association. All right, so Mwiri starts in 1911, mm. uh, starts as uh, Balangira High School. Balangira meaning uh, royalty. royalty. Uh, it was designed to train the royal class uh, in Busoga ah. in the same way that King's College Budo, Budo uh, was designed for uh, and Gayaza for the for the lady the Balangira ladies if you can put it that way <laughs> uh, the royal class and okay. so around about 1935 mm. we move to our current location uh, having had a short stint in King's College Budo for about two years. Wow. So we have a rich history mm. of cooperation with, uh, with, with Budo. That's right. Um, so from uh, 1935, we just kept on moving from glory to glory. Mm -hmm. uh, before long, uh, the Chabazinga, then uh, Yosia Nadiope, uh, who had participated in uh, supporting Mwiri to get the current land where it is, uh, it is seated, that yeah. whole plateau, yeah. uh, becomes... Uh, Vice President of uh, of Uganda, first uh, Vice President, 1963. That's right. Um, and uh, the President then was the Kabaka. Mm. Uh, shortly thereafter, you know that uh, another Murian <laughs> uh, becomes a President, <laughs> first Prime Minister. Yeah. And so we've uh, we've continued to uh, give generously to the country called Uganda. Mm. Uh, we gave it our motto. Uh, wow. uh, which is now for God and my country. Um, Let's first pose it there. Yes. The motto for Busoga College Miri. Yes. This is Lusoga, not yes. Uganda. Yes. Kuluakatonda ne Gwanga Yaife. Yes. And here we are, the nation for God and my country. Yes. Take us through. Do you have uh, a history of how we trans that transition was made? Yes. Dr. Milton Obote, 
Well, yes. we can expect that he yes. played a very big role yes, right there. Yes. Take us through that. So um, the story goes that uh, because he was uh, Murian left around about 1940, 44, uh, continued to maintain very close ties. Mm. And so when the transition began yeah. uh, from a colonial to a, a, an, an independent, independent nation, mm. uh, you know, you Influence. just pick from, uh, <laughs> you know, from the things you are comfortable with, the things that actually make sense. Yeah. And so that is how uh, it, it happened. Uh, let me just uh, a little bit delve into that mm -hmm. and the ability of uh, schools that are being uh, formed in this day and age to take on traditional or indigenous slogans and mottos. Yeah. We seem to be going for the, well, what can appear, you know, yes. uh, modern and stuff. Yes. like that uh, is there a need to reflect on that and perhaps make it an anchor for driving the need for identity as a people yeah that's mm. a very good question and I totally agree with you mm. that uh, whoever is starting a school whoever has started a school it's not too late for us to yeah. begin to review what is it that we are uh, fermenting what is it that we are inculcating in our young people mm. um, if uh, we are giving them uh, the kind of education and the kind of culture that glorifies those that do not stay here, mm. that do not understand our social, economic, and political history, mm. then we are giving our young people a disservice. Mm. Um, and, you know, the beauty is that change is always constant. Yeah, no and doubt. we can continue making amendments here and there, mm. having had an understanding. Um, globalization has played a huge role mm. in transfixing us to the things that are in Europe, uh, the Westphalian kind of models, yeah. uh, but we need to come back, mm. you know. Uh, we had professors like uh, Dan Wadada Naudere, may mm. his soul rest in peace, and others who have always challenged us to come back home, mm. uh, glorify what is so unique about us. When, when, when the anthem plays, you can even yeah. see our background here, <laughs> it's just so rich Very and rich beautiful. Okay. Uh, so we our education, mm. our way of life, That's right. uh, the things we glorify um, should always have a huge impact uh, on growing the African person that we, that we actually uh, are and, um, and, and, with our, and what we ought to be, yeah. certainly, yes. There's always a chance to create a hybrid between uh, traditional African ways and modernity so that we can come up with something that is better than modernity yeah. you know because we have the advantage of uh, the traditional aspects but allow me a uh, focus now on uh, the ability of old boys mm. and old girls of uh, schools to be catalysts uh, for development in all aspects including yes. uh, there is what we see now yes. as a new culture mm. the Mwiri League Yes. Uh, Budo League, you know, uh, things like this. They are able to galvanize support and mm. fundraising, not only to go back to these schools and help where ne help is needed, but to embolden a sense of belonging and drive common purpose yes. within members of yes. these associations and groups. For Mwiri and the old boys who are doing whatever they can, how far are we in pushing this agenda of uh, what I could term as corporate social responsibility? Yeah, I, I think Mwiri has done very well uh, in that regard mm. uh, and picked lessons from other leagues as well. That's right. Uh, because we are all for the same purpose. Mm. Bring Ugandans together, bring old schoolmates together and support one another. Mm. Um, so you can see that you know, these old boys association, old girls and alumni associations yeah. have become the first place you run to when you have a medical issue. You know, uh, in the absence of a national health service, mm. they are the people we go to, uh, they are the people who stand in and support us. That's right. uh, someone has lost a parent, these are the people who come in immediately, who support you when you're getting married. Mm. So it's become a real family. Yeah. And because we are now family, we, we, we begin to pride in the Ugandanness that we are, which has really struggled. You That's know, right. the whole campaign for patriotism mm. has to start 
in these from spaces yeah. and they have actually begun uh, in these spaces. So someone can proudly speak the Alusoga, mm. can proudly display um, a tagline of their class cohort right. uh, with, with local slangs like <laughs> Chibawo and, <laughs> and so on. And, and, right. and this I think is very good. Mm. But like you've asked, it helps us then to refocus to the school because we have a lot of experience. Mm. The education that we learned in our time That's right. um, and, and the colonial education per se was meant to, to kind of support the, the colonial engine, mm. you know? Mm. So you, there was a prioritizing of engineering, law, um, you know, teaching and so That's on right. that would support the colonial uh, agenda of governing. Mm. But now, change is the constant that's right so many things have happened i write in uh, this small book here yeah uh, we don't teach that at the university okay uh, let me have a look uh, yes I, I write that the world has become volatile mm. uncertain complex and ambiguous and because of that uh, we also need to change yes. in the way we do things that's right um it I never knew that I would ever engage with media. Mm. I thought that my whole role as a lawyer would always be just before a courtroom. That's right. But now I am teaching, I'm doing advocacy, I'm in parliament, uh, and, and all these other things that I do. It shows you that you, we, we really need to be able to be flexible, we really need to be able to change in the way we do things, okay. right? And so, when the old boys go back mm. to their schools, they are able to help the young men, the young ladies, to see that there are different ways of doing things. You shouldn't be stuck in your economics <laughs> degree for life. <laughs> you know, you can do many other things. Yeah, sure. Yes. All right, so tell us finally about the plans, what yes. activities are lined up yes. for the celebrations, yes. and uh, where should some of us from Bukhead College Kachonga sneak in? All of you are welcome. <laughs> First of all, all of you are welcome because yeah. the, the passion of Mwiri is the passion of the nation. That's right. So Saturday tomorrow, at 10 a.m., we mm. shall all be in Jinja at that mighty hill. Okay. Uh, we are going to start by fighting climate change, yeah. planting trees. That's right. And because it is a church-founded school, we'll have a short prayer, and then we shall have a meeting to discuss where we have been mm. and where we are going. All right. The guest of honor is the Katu Kiro of Busoga, yeah, Dr. Right. Joseph Muvawala, right. and uh, after that we'll have a great celebration in Jinja right. at the Mwiri Clubhouse. All right, how are you going to go? 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 No doubt about that. That is my very <laughs> small Lusoga that I can come up with. Many thanks, uh, Doctor, for joining us and giving us some perspectives on the 111 years of uh, Busoga College, Mary. That will do it for this discussion, but to stay with us, Others are in the pipeline. We shall be tackling a lot more issues. Stay with us.